Here comes the field for tonight's second race. Series event number three for Condition Trotter, sponsored by Success Acres. Exact and trifecta wagering number one is Action Time, owned by Amabel Patel, driven by Dave Miller. Two is KF Judy, owned by Henry Kaufman, handled by Brad Hanners. Three is Ralphie, owned by Paletta McCormick, Rainsman Keith Haynes. Number four is Blaze of Victory, owned by James Hecker with Dan Ader aboard. Five, Mighty Charge, owned by Robert and Mrs. Robert Johns and the bike Jeff Fout. Six will be next, Word of Prayer, owned by Barbara Stoltz and Albert Denton with a driver change to Leroy Stoltz. With a driver change, Leroy Stoltz and not Eric Ledford. Seven, Holly Hill Disco, owned by the Hatfield Stables with trader Bud Hatfield and eight, Sydney Rule, owned by Gary Reynolds. Dan Reynolds will be in the sulky. That is the field for tonight's second race. Exact to end trifecta wagering post time in nine minutes. Trotters for race two are at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Holly Hill Disco is off stride. Sydney Rule never caught the gate. Benefiting from the breakers, there goes Blaze of Glory to get the lead. Ralphie away nicely to second, followed by Action Time in third. Word of Prayer, we parked along mile and fourth. Around the top turn, KF Judy is fifth. Mighty Charge is in the sixth. Back down trotting, Sydney Rule seventh. Far back, Holly Hill Disco as they move by this opening quarter mile pole. Blaze of Glory continues to lead the way. Further back in the field, KF Judy is off stride as they trot by the quarter, 29 and 4. They're racing past the stands. Up top, the easy leader so far is Blaze of Victory. Blaze of Victory going well for Dan Ader. The stalker in second is Ralphie. Past the stands, action time third. Mighty Charge gives the pylons fourth. Word of Prayer is fifth. Back down trotting, KF Judy sixth. Followed by Sydney Rule in seventh, far back, Holly Hill Disco. Seven are on gate, and they're at the half mile pole, and Blaze of Glory is being sent right along. They're at the half in 101. Here's action time up on the outside as he trots the storm for Dave Miller. They're down the back stretch. Blaze of Glory better be good from here. Here's action time, the attacker. Nowhere to go, Ralphie along the rail third. Ranging up on the outside, mighty charge, live cover fourth. Word of prayer comes to the outside, fifth, and we're down to these five. They're, in fact, hub to hub as they trot to three quarters. Leaders are heads apart, action time on the outside. Along the rail, blaze of glory. These two guys are tooth and nail, racing by three quarters in 131 and three. They'll trot the turn and come on home. Under confident handling, blaze of glory is well measured. Blaze of glory is action time, draws alongside. Ralphie looks to shoot through along the pylons. Here comes Jeff Fout, Mighty Charge, rolls up on the far outside. We got a ding-dong battle going here. Mighty Charge on the far outside, Ralphie on the rail. Mighty Charge to get it all. Result of tonight's second race is now official. Here's the winner, number five, Mighty Charge. Five-year-old Bay Gelding by Taking Charge out of Keystone Mike. Owned by Mr. and Mrs. Robert Johns of Wooster, Ohio. Trained by David E. Miller. Given a well-judged drive tonight by Jeff Fout. Covering the mile in a lifetime best, 201 and 2. Number five, Mighty Charge, the winner of tonight's second race. Windows are now up and on race three. Post time 15 minutes away at 814. Del S. Miller driving two, F11. The pilot of two, F11, will be Del S. Miller. Nine, Jack Lee Gino, the driver, will be Dave Hawk. Del S. Miller, the two, David Hawk, the nine. Third race, sponsored by ACT X-Ray Express with Superfect and Exacto Wagering. Post time in 14 minutes. Exacto 44.40. Exacto 44.40.